Hello and welcome to Blender Bite Size. In this video, I'll be showing you how to make this material procedurally in Blender. Feeling lazy? You can support this channel and skip the hard work by grabbing the blend file for this material from Gumroad for just a pound. Feeling flush? Feel free to throw some of that coin my way using the coffee link in the description below the video. All right, let's take a look at this very simple classic pinstripe fabric. The first thing that we are going to need are some stripes for the pinstripes. So we're going to do that by pressing Shift A and searching for a wave texture. And we will plug the color from that into the base color. We're going to keep it set as bands and X and change the wave profile to triangle. We'll bump up the scale to 30. Set the distortion, detail and detail scale and detail roughness and phase offset to zero. Now because we've got all that set to zero, we can actually press control H on here to pretty much hide everything. We can always open that up again by again pressing control H if we need to. Now we need some kind of texture coordinates as well to work with. So we search for a texture coordinate node. We want to use the UV output. So I need to actually expand that again so I can plug this in here. Um, we'll collapse that again. And then we need a way of constraining these um, so that we don't have this kind of fading of the lines. So for that we will use a color ramp. We'll change the interpolation to constant. We'll move this white value on the right to 0.99, uh, let's go for 6 right now. Yes, we can just see those pinstripes coming through and they're much sharper than they were. Now for the actual color of the fabric, of course you can go with plain black, but to give it that sort of um, luxury feel, um, let's change the value to 0 0.015, saturation to 1, and then the hue to 0 0.665. And that gives us kind of this really dark navy blue color. Right, now, we've actually got a lot of shine going on here, and that's driven by the specular value. So we are going to drop that to 0 0.1. And we still have a little bit of shine, which comes from um, the threads used, obviously, in the fabric. But we just want to get rid of as much as possible. So I've taken that to 0 0.05, and I'm going to bump the roughness up to 0 0.8. So that takes off a bit of that. In fact, actually, let's bring the roughness down to 0 0.75 and put the specular back up to one. Kind of looks better to me on that setting. Uh, what's next? Okay, so we need a little bit of bump uh, going on in here as well, just to give it a little more texture. You don't have to add this, and that's important to note. You can get away with just doing this if you're doing a quick, fast render of something. Um, but I'm gonna add a bump node plug that into the normal. We're going to take the UV output from the texture coordinate and plug that into the height. And then to give that some information we're going to add a noise texture node. And I'm going to shove the scale right up to 1000. And in fact let me Enable just the bump so we can see what's going on. So you can see there's a lot of bump going on right now. Detail's going to go up to 15. Roughness to 0.9. And no distortion. The strength, I'm going to drop all the way down to 0 0.01. So it's hardly even there. And the distance, we're going to leave at 1. In fact, is that too much? Now, if we zoom in, it's quite detailed. 
let's put it at point zero five. Does that make a difference? Let's go back to our main. Yeah, that looks all right. We'll go with that for now. Maybe if we put it to point one. Okay, like I said, it's not making a huge difference. It's just something I like to do to add a tiny bit more detail. And believe it or not, those are all of the nodes that we need. So if we use Control H to collapse as many of these down as we can, and then we can nicely organize these into a very small area. Now I am going to render these out. I am using Cycles Render Engine. I'm only going to, let's say, 256 samples. I won't denoise it, I won't bother. Light paths, we're just going to go for direct light. Uh, now, I need performance as well. And tiling, we're just going to put at... Let's try 64. And render it. Okay, that worked. Took 25 seconds to render, but so let's take a look and see what would happen if I change the tile size a bit. Change the tile size there to 256, which I think is one of the optimum settings for cycles on my NVIDIA graphics card. And that slashed off 15 seconds and dropped it down to 10 seconds. So just that one tiny little tweak can make a huge difference in your rendering time. But there we have our pinstripe fabric. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Uh, I would appreciate a thumbs up if you did. And of course, please do go back and watch all the other material um, videos that I've got. I'm trying to get my watch hours up. And in the meantime, thank you very much for watching. I hope to see you next time.